Who are you guys voting for? What, me? I don't know if that's a great idea. I appreciate it. But who who are you thinking? Hillary? Bernie. Bernie. Are we doing it? Are we for real about Bernie? I like I'm I'm willing to get on board, but I, I keep thinking people are being ironic. I first heard about him. I was in Silver Lake, and if you know anything about LA, you know the further east you go, the more ironic things are. You can't take <laughs> shit seriously. And I, I, I guess we are. If we're on board with Bernie, I'm gonna be on board with Bernie. I think. I don't know. I, I think he. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's gonna be great. It seems he's 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 old, man. And and I don't mean I don't mean an age. I mean an energy. <laughs> Certain people have like old man energy, and he. I mean it matches. I'm sure his age, but. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure he's going to be fine, but he's definitely going to be the first president to embarrass us on some old man shit. <laughs> like, definitely. And you got to be prepared for that. Like, he's going to be the first president to, like, negotiate a nuclear deal with a mustard stain on his shirt. And, and if you're fine with it, I'm fine with it. I don't know much about his policies, but I know he eats a pastrami sandwich every day for lunch. You can just look in his eyes and... Sure, he'll be fine. Hillary. I can't tell if just let her have this one is a good enough reason to vote for Hillary. <laughs> like, that's why I would do it. Completely just rooted in nothing political. Just, it would be like, I don't know, man. Her husband got his dick sucked and we all know about it. Let's just let her have this one. Let's just let her be president. I mean, she's filled out all the forms. She's done all the things, and kiss the babies, and whatever you gotta do. I'm sure you gotta take a physical, or a, I don't know how you become president. <laughs> you, gotta, you had to have not killed anybody. Uh, not a lot of tickets. That's about it. I think Hillary's running, you know. And first of all, uh, <laughs> it's funny watching like women not give a shit about Hillary Clinton. That's my favorite part of this whole like thing. It's just watching women just not give a fuck. It's amazing. You would think that it, like uh, like here's the thing. I'm not saying I voted for Obama because he's black, but we get it. Like sure, was I not gonna? <laughs> Why don't women have that same camaraderie? Like what's going on here? <laughs> What's the problem? It's because, it's because if I made without you hating me, women only kind of fuck with other women. <laughs> only kind of. Sometimes it depends. What's the life expectancy of a woman's friendship with another woman? I don't know, like two and a half years, max, <laughs> before shit goes wrong. Maybe you get back together years later, but it's gonna hit a fucking wall. It's, it's going to, I have it. That's why Thelma and Louise were so realistic. The only way to maintain a friendship was to drive off a fucking cliff. So you just had, it's like, we gotta kill ourselves or we are gonna get angry at each other over some bullshit. <laughs> I don't know, I think that Hillary is, you know, she's just not memorable. Is that fear? You know, like, some people are just not memorable, you know? You know, we have them in all of our lives. That person you're supposed to get lunch with for like a year. <laughs> the guy at your office named Mark, but you keep calling him John for some reason. <laughs> you sure his name isn't? You sure it's not John? He's like, yeah, it's not John. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call him John. Cause, cause who gives a fuck? That's why you do it, because some people just aren't memorable. I hope I'm not, maybe you are, I mean, I don't want you to feel bad, but go, go do something fun, man. Get out there. She's like, like when she's on like uh, my television, like I get really excited about Hillary Clinton. I think, oh man, she's, you know, she's smart and, you know, I don't think she's murdered anybody. I don't know how to be the president, but as soon as she goes away, completely forget about it. <laughs> forget she existed, forget anything she said, forget what she did. It's also how I feel about Bruno Mars' music. Like, 
when he's performing on the Super Bowl, I'm like, oh shit, he's a great performer. I'm gonna buy his album. And then Monday comes and I don't buy his album because I'm an adult and I like, you know, I can't listen to a little Hawaiian man sing about love in my car. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I own stamps. I'm a citizen. I think Hillary Clinton is running as like this really elaborate plot for revenge. Think about that. Like if you would do it too, if you had the opportunity, if your husband was cheating on you at his job, and you had the opportunity years later to get that exact same job, <laughs> it's irresistible. That's why she's running. Trust me, man, and we're gonna hear about it. If she wins, like, it'll be like year two of her presidency, and it'll be headlines on every paper. Like, Hillary Clinton gets fucked in the Oval Office. <laughs> it's gonna happen. She's, she's gonna leak it. She's gonna be so happy, too. Like, finally, that's all she's doing this shit for. She's gonna get the, get the paper, you'll see it with just the legs open on the, on the desk. She's <laughs> like, yep, there it is, tuck it in, get Bill a cup of coffee. Just gonna wake him up with it. <laughs> kind of by like pouring the coffee on his forehead a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Yeah. Now wake up. Uh huh. Yeah, look at this. Read this. Well, put your glasses on. Put. Yeah, Hillary Clinton gets fu Uh huh. Uh huh. How the fuck does it feel, nigga? <laughs> she can say the N word in this situation. I think she's earned it. How the fuck does it feel? That shit burns, doesn't it? <laughs> And you go walk to a helicopter while Chelsea holds your hand. <laughs> or we could, uh, we could vote for Trump. Listen to the groan. I mean, listen, man. <sighs> He's gotten further than we all thought. It's the Oscar Pistorius of elections. It's, he's still running. <laughs> Despite obvious handicaps. He's still <laughs> in the race. And we just, he's gonna murder his girlfriend. America is his girlfriend. Still doing it, man. I've accepted it. I've accepted a Trump presidency. You should too. It's easier for your heart. Because what, what else are you going to do? Sit there and yell? He's just going to yell shit at your television screens? You're going to get angry? What's interesting about Trump is it's the first time in my life I've seen white people, like, helpless. <laughs> never seen that before. I've never seen just, like, despite the best efforts, there's nothing you could do. He's unstoppable. He's unstoppable. He will only stop when he decides to. He's like a white Hurricane Katrina. Like, he's just <laughs> breaking all the levees. I've never experienced that. Donald Trump, it's obviously crazy. I think he kind of is America. You know, when you think about it, arrogant, ignorant sometimes, spending money he doesn't have. Thinks he's right all the time. He is America. It's like if Captain Planet <laughs> were created by like an election. That's what Donald Trump is. I think he's crazy. I think he's, you know, insane. But as someone who recently moved to a new tax bracket, <laughs> I, uh, I also think he has some good ideas sometimes. <laughs>